Hey everyone, it's Matt here from Yard Sale Zombie, here with another haul video. Today it's June 24th, it's Saturday, and it's very hot here in Florida. It's about 90 degrees and humid, and it feels like the heat is on out here. It's hot, but we love it. We love it here in the south. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Steph and I moved down here from Massachusetts a couple years ago. Wow, it's almost two years now. We came down here to escape the cold and to escape our jobs. So Steph has already quit her job. I'm, I'm about, what, 30 days now from quitting my job to do eBay full time. So that's kind of why we started the channel, just to document that journey. And um, I just do these haul videos. I go out every Saturday usually, and then if I end up calling out sick or having a day off during the week, I'll go out then too. So today I'm here with basically just, this is all I bought today. I was out from about 6.30, I think I left the house at 6.30, and I got back around noon. So it wasn't that bad. I actually stopped for gas and I stopped for food. So um, let's get into this. Today I'm drinking a moonshine called Bootleggers Moonshine. We stopped at this little distillery in Tennessee on our road trip, and it's just a small little place. Here's the logo. They gave us a nice tour. They were all very friendly. So if you're ever in the Tennessee area and you want to get some good moonshine, this is it. And you can see, I don't know if you can see the blackberries in there. They just put the moonshine in there and soak it in there and it's good. And then I just mixed it with some lemon juice and some seltzer and it's really good. If you want some of that, it's delicious. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. So I'm not going to go in any order. I'm just going to pick them out as I see them. And I'll do these first because I don't really like these. I don't even really know why I picked these up, but there's two of them. They're Camelback hydration kits that go around your waist. So it's got the little straw and you would fill this with water and then drink as you're running, I guess. I'm not sure if it goes in front or in the back, but it's got nice little pouches where you can put your keys. And this is how you put the water in. But I paid $5 each. And I think I can probably get 10 or $15 each for these. And they're pretty light, so I think I can throw them in one of those envelopes, like a poly envelope or maybe a bubble wrap envelope. So two of these, $5 each, I should get about $15 each. So whatever. The only reason I got those is because I did get some other stuff at that sale. Oh, I got this at that sale. This is an AudioVox DVD and LCD screen. So it's basically a traveling DVD player. And it's got this nice little case. The DVD goes in the side here. All the plugs are right there. So you don't have to open it up to get to everything. And there you go. You can sit there and watch a movie. Give this to one of the kids in the back seat. There's all the controls right there. And then this pouch underneath on the bottom here has all the plugs and everything in it. And I paid $10 for this. And I would say this was the find of the day because on eBay, these things are going for about 160 to 200, maybe a little less, but the place that I got this from was a very nice home. The woman offered to let me plug it in to prove that it worked and I didn't care for $10. That's what I paid $10. That's a great investment. I'm really excited to see what this goes for. It's pretty heavy, but I think this is going to fit in a medium flat rate. So I can ship that for $14.99. And then usually with the eBay discount, it ends up being about 13. Um, something else I got, I actually got this at my first sale of the day. It's an old 70s push button telephone in the avocado color. Western Electric makes these. And um, I spent $5 on this. I think I'll get back probably 15 or $20. These things sell really well for me. This, is, this would be my third or fourth one that I've sold. I've sold a couple tan ones, and I think I had a bright yellow one one time, and maybe a red one, but they always sell. People love these things. If you have a phone jack to make sure it works, that's even better, but if not, just say you don't know, and check this because sometimes this falls out. This one's broken right here on the edge, but that's okay. They do move around, so that's normal, but as long as that's there, and especially if the cord's original, people want these. So I'm pretty happy with this $5 investment. I'll get 20. Again, this goes into medium flat rate, so I'll just throw it up at $14.99 shipping, and then I'll start that at, well, I'll probably list it for $19.99 or best offer and see what happens. Um, these things are another, another thing that does pretty well. 
with me is the serial, um, sorry, Sirius radio kits. This is not the best one. They make a different version. I can't remember what it's called. That's actually a little better than this one. This one is the Onyx, but I paid $5 for this. There's the price tag right there. And, um, the woman, I asked her about it. And also this was a very nice house. So I had a, a good idea that, you know, these people were going to be honest or that they knew about it, but she said it had never been used. And when I opened it up, it's got everything in there and it looks great. So I paid $5. I think I'm going to be able to get 30 or 40 for this. Now the little, the other one here is just like a kit. It's like, I don't think it's actually the receiver. Could be wrong. This one is the dock and play home kit. Um, I think it's just that part and this other one goes on here. So I haven't decided if I'm going to sell them together or separate yet, but this one I also paid $5 for and I should be able to sell this one for a little less. Um, but that also has everything in there. I don't want to dump this. I sold one of these last week. It was a different one. I bought it at a church yard sale for $10. And then when I got home, all the parts weren't in it. It didn't have everything. It only had like half of what was supposed to be in there. And I still sold it for, I think I paid 10 and I sold it on eBay for 20 for parts. I said, I don't know if it works, it's parts only. And I doubled my money. So if you can get those, people still buy them. I guess Sirius satellite radio is still a thing. Mm. And it, it's always good when you have the original boxes because people like to see that. I got these shoes for $3 just because they look like they're brand new, like they've never been worn. Um, and then when I got up to the cash register, or the little table, I noticed that there was some wear here on the toe, but when I put my finger in there, my finger doesn't come out. So I think it's just starting to wear. I think there's a lot of life left in these. I did not check the value, but when I got home I did, and they sell for about 15, 20 bucks. So for a $3 investment, hopefully I can sell those because they're not my size. But those are nice. Another pair of shoes I got today for $2. It's a pair of women's Nikes. They're dirty, but they're in great shape. So I'm gonna try to clean these up, clean the Nike swish off. These are very light and um, $2 investment, very good tread. And they'll fit Steph. If they don't sell, she gets a, a new pair of shoes. So that's another thing, if I'm ever unsure, whether or not I want to buy sneakers or shoes, I will just make sure it's in somebody's size that I know. And then if it's me, Steph, or Joe, we'll just keep them. I got these Magellan socks, brand new in the package. It says that they have aloe in them to soothe the skin. Aloe infused socks. I paid a dollar. Haven't checked them. I don't know what they're worth, but for a dollar, if we can't sell them, Steph gets a new pair of socks. Now this is a... Nintendo DS Lite, you know I love video games, video games sell quick. I actually paid a lot for this, I paid $40. And that's about what it's worth with some games. But the reason I did it was because they threw in this case, nice case, and then there's nine different games, and a lot of the games are Mario and Pokemon. And whenever you're buying video games, Nintendo especially, Pokemon and Mario sell very well so that's a Mario Kart Mario Party crap this is a Pokemon mystery dungeon so I'm probably not gonna get too much back here's Mario Kart and then a bunch of Star Wars Lego here's another Pokemon danger or Ranger Pokemon Ranger so Mario versus Donkey Kong so just I would have never bought that for $40, but because it was Mario and Pokemon, I just went for it. So hopefully I can sell that for $60. i will make $20. And it's light, so that can probably go in a first class. Um, some more shoes that I got are these soccer cleats. Still have the tag on them. So these are new. These have never been worn. And they're called F50s, Adidas F50s. And the they don't come with the spikes. The spikes are interchangeable. And the kid was telling me that these spikes, I guess what Adidas found was that the spikes themselves were wearing out faster than the shoes. And so they decided to make it the new version so that the spikes can be swapped out. And I actually got a different, a couple more pairs. 
that still have the spikes in them. So he made me a deal at $10 for all of them. These are some older F50s. I don't know if I'm going to clean these up. I might sell the two used ones together. Or maybe I'll sell them all together. I haven't actually figured out what I'm going to do yet. These ones are actually pretty nasty. Probably just going to throw these ones out. But these on eBay go anywhere from 50 up to like $100. So I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, I paid, yeah, $10 for everything. For all those. So that's good. What else? At that same sale, I got this Jägermeister tin. Which, if this doesn't sell, or if it's not worth anything, I'll just throw it up in my bar. Because Jägermeister is one of my favorites. And um, I paid a dollar for that. You know, when I saw this, I thought the guy was going to want like $20 for it. And I went up to him and I said, how much do you want for the sign? And he said, uh, I think it's worth a dollar. What do you think? And I was like, sold. I also got this. Captain Morgan. It's like a plastic front with the fluorescent light behind it. So it'll light up. I paid $2 for this at the same sale. So that's pretty cool too. Uh, it says Bed Bath & Beyond 40 bucks, So I'm probably going to sell it for... 15 or 20 dollars at the same sale i got this hat they had a pile of clothing with some hats in it and i've been looking for the snapbacks which are the ones you can adjust the plastic you know with the little plastic ones that you snap on this is not a snapback but it's a super bowl champion hat and it's, you can tell it's the official one because it's got all the nice logos and everything and no matter what team it is and no matter what year the super bowl championship hat always sells for about 15 20 dollars this one actually has, the bottom is coming off a little bit. I'm either going to glue that or I'll just put it in the ad that it's coming off. It still actually has the cardboard in there. So paid a dollar, I'll get about 20 bucks for that. Had another sale, I found this old holster. And you can see on the back that it's from Hunter. I don't know if you can see that logo there. It's like a little upside down swoosh. And I was able to put leather holster I put the um, Hunter name and then I put this little number in, 3100P1, and these sell for anywhere from 40 up to 60 bucks. So that was a quick eBay search. I just put Hunter leather holster and then I put that serial number and a bunch of them have been selling for 40 to $60. So for $5, I knew that was a good deal. It's got nice, a nice design on it too. So that was fun. I love getting things like that that I know will sell. Hmm, what else? Almost done here. That's gone pretty quick. A couple um, pairs of glasses. I'm probably not going to get much for these. They're kind of destroyed. They're Armani Exchange, and you can see the paint's chipping. I did not notice that. See here. And also on the top, not very good. Bad purchase. But they are Armani Exchange. Probably shouldn't have got those. It's actually chipping on the front, too. But what I did get at that same sale is a pair of Gucci's. And these are sunglasses. They're actually not prescription, which is good. They'll sell better. Um, wiggles a little bit. I'm hoping that when I get my screwdriver, I can tighten that up. But they are real Gucci's. You can see that? That's the symbol there. It says Gucci right on the side. I haven't looked these up, but I've been doing really well in sunglasses and prescription glasses. Um, is it Dorky Thrifter? I think it's Dorky Thrifter. If you're interested in getting into sunglasses, she's the pro. She's on YouTube, you, and you just look up Dorky Thrifter, and she sells out of her RV. She sells many, many glasses, and she sells a few other things. And I would recommend watching her videos. I've learned a lot from her, and I've actually made a lot of money. At most thrift stores, you can get you can get sunglasses and prescription glasses for like a dollar or two. And then I've turned around and sold some for about $50, $60. But the, the, most of them that I sell are about $15, $20. But it's definitely worth getting into if you haven't gotten into that yet. And I think that's a... Oh, wait, no. I have a couple more things. I got this. It's an iRobot robotic floor vacuum called a Roomba. These things are pretty dang expensive if you want one. This one is out of commission for a few different reasons. Um, the batteries haven't been charged in a while because... Can you see the tracks here on the wheels? This one snapped, so this one needs a new track. But she actually uh, included that, and she was able to show me that 
the snap broke or the track broke and she said this is the part you need but she said that it worked well up until that broke it has the battery charger and it has some other things but what this does is it just drives around and then this is the bumper when this hits something it turns around and it goes around so it's kind of like a automatic pool cleaner but it's for your carpet and i guess this is where the uh junk goes Ugh. hope i didn't get that in my drink um five bucks they had it marked for eight and i found those on ebay for parts for like 50 or 60 dollars for parts and not working and so i think i'm going to charge this up and just see if it powers on and if it powers on i'm going to say i'll say something like you know the last time we used it it worked but no guarantees and um i'll put the part number that they need and everything and i'll put a picture of this saying this is what it really needs but you know so kind of like as a disclaimer so that if it gets there and it doesn't work that they were told that there's no guarantees and the one last thing i wanted to show you was this roll of chicken wire that's never been opened it's 25 feet of chicken wire and at walmart and home depot these go for about 20 25 30 bucks depending um if there's a sale or not but you can get these from 25 up to 50 sometimes even 100 feet and they're pretty expensive if you have a farm like we do and you're always using chicken wire i paid eight dollars for this and you know so i just saved myself like 15 bucks but if you don't have a farm and you don't use this kind of stuff you can still buy it for cheap and people will buy it people like me i check craigslist all the time and if somebody was selling this for half price i'd be there in a second to buy it um same with landscape fabric i've bought landscape fabric and sold that a lot of people will give it to you for a dollar or two big rolls of it and if you have a lot of landscaping to do at your house that adds up quick so if you go and grab a couple of these and resell them on craigslist you know you can make some good money i've made a lot just reselling landscape fabric it sounds silly but um things like that that people need a lot of any kind of fencing cattle fencing in the big rolls one roll of that that's like i think it's a 250 foot roll costs almost 400 dollars at tractor supply so i've seen these things at old barns and things or people that wanted to make like a dog enclosure and they have some left over and they'll just get rid of it for like 30 40 bucks and if you snatch that up throw it on craigslist you're gonna have people knocking down your door you probably need to be in more of a rural area probably not the city it might not work for you if you live in the city but it works well for us because we're out here in farm country. So I think that's about it for today. I don't think I forgot anything. Did I? No. I would say that the best thing that I bought today was that DVD player because I'm pretty excited about that. And this iRobot uh, floor vac, I'm pretty excited to see how that does. So um, I will let you know how that goes. Today I have a pair of, I don't know if you remember, but the, the video that I did back where I found some shoes I sold a pair of, one of those went for $177, um, and then one's up there right now, and that's at about 100 and, I think it's at $160 right now, and it's due to end in a few hours. The antique fan is hovering right around 80, but there's 15 people watching it, and that's going to end today too. So tomorrow, I will let you know what those sold for, and I'm going to figure out how to share my screen and let you know what those sold for, and I'll show you right on the screen. So... All right. I hope everybody had a great Saturday. I hope you got out there and were able to find some good deals. And please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And stay tuned because we're going to be doing a lot more of these. Thanks.